Hello, my friends. So today, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys in one simple tool how to basically skin smooth, really. Um, we've done a couple of videos on this in the past regarding different tools that you can use in Affinity, Photo, Photoshop, and Lightroom. Uh, but in today, we're gonna showcase how to do literally blurring um, in Affinity Photo using Gaussian Blur. So uh, one simple step should take us maybe two or three minutes to kind of just knock this out and you'll be able to get the results that we're showcasing on the screen right now. So. Um, this is just one simple step, uh, one simple technique. Um, my only goal here is just to showcase you to you guys what are the techniques that are available so that you can have an educated choice and freedom to choose with what technique best suits your particular workflow. Uh, this is not a technique I use personally, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. It's very dirty, it's a filthy technique, but nonetheless, it does work great depending on what your needs are. So um, I already have the photo loaded up here in Affinity Photo. Uh, I am using the latest version of Affinity Photo. I am on my iPad 10.5-inch uh, from 2018 using the Apple Pencil right here. Uh, so the photo is already loaded up. I just recorded a video on how to import TIFF. So this is a TIFF file. Um, you can watch that video if you want to learn more on how to actually import high-resolution images into Affinity Photo for uh, greater resolution, greater uh, export abilities. But Long story short, the photo is already imported. I'm gonna just kind of zoom in to showcase what we're gonna be able to do here. So, and not even, I mean, not even five minutes. We went from that to this. Now, this isn't perfect. Uh, I didn't, I was kind of just doing it really quick. Um, I, I did kind of hit some edges and stuff like that, but literally, it, it not even five, and not, five minutes is really pushing it. Uh, it didn't take five minutes to even get to that point. So, what we're gonna do, um, is I'm just gonna just kind of minimize those. What you're gonna do, first and foremost, is load the image in. Then you're gonna go over here, or three dots, hit duplicate layer. You're gonna go over here to the filters panel, scroll on down to Gaussian Blur, uh, and apply somewhere in the neighborhood of between five to 15 pixels. The amount of blur that you apply using utilizing this radius setting right here uh, is gonna be determined based on how much blur that you want and how much you want the skin to be smooth. Uh, for me personally, I just did 10.9. I thought that was a pretty good uh, in-between. But you're welcome to kind of play around with this. It definitely have to be something that you experiment with. Um, only experience can kind of tell you what uh, the best settings are going to be based, based on how, uh, how many blemishes are in the skin to begin with. So uh, once you've selected the amount of radius that you want to use, what you're going to do is go to the add symbol, enter, and then create new mask, empty mask layer. So that's gonna create a blank layer underneath with a mask. Uh, these by default should be set to normal opacity, which is good. And you're gonna go down to the mask layer, open up your paintbrush, go over here, make sure gray sliders is selected. By default, it does color wheel. Um, but you want to just make it exactly white. So if you want to make it exactly white, you use the gray sliders and you can transition between white and black. Uh, simply by just just transitioning right there on the uh, fader dial. So uh, make sure it's selected to white. We're on the mask layer, and we're gonna just kind of zoom in. Uh, make our brush size. We're gonna make our brush size. Let's say just slightly. Um, well, I don't want to say slightly larger than the area you're working on because that's not really accurate. But you want to make sure the brush size isn't too large, where one stroke is basically gonna put you in a situation where you're blurring the entire. Uh, the entire area to include all the areas that should be uh, should be still sharp. For example, the eyebrows should, um, the eyes, the nose, the lips, the hairline, all that stuff should not have any blur applied to it. So if you're applying blur in those areas, it's going to look fake immediately. Um, so you want to make sure your brush size is not that big where you're applying it that large of an area. So we're just going to basically go back here and uh, go into the history panel and just undo that. So I'm gonna set the brush size to about 30 pixels, give or take, and we're gonna kind of zoom in a little bit and we're gonna start applying the effect um, on the blur layer, or on the mask layer rather, sorry, is what it actually is. Um, I'm leaving the settings that you see down here, opacity, flow, and uh, hardness. I'm leaving it all those, those at the default settings. I'm not gonna change any of those things. Uh, those settings and we're just going to basically apply the effect the only thing is with this tool for whatever reason and i will do a follow-up video on uh, how to get better results with this particular technique again this is not a technique that i use i'm just showcasing what you guys what is possible but i will do a full retouch with this technique so you guys can actually see uh, what it's truly capable of um, 
Yes, but uh, it does have some kind of weirdness with its colors. As you can see up here, it's kind of like has this gradation in terms of like lightness to darkness. It's just kind of weird. I'm sure there's a way to fix that. Um, I will do a little bit of digging and do a follow-up video for you guys on how to fix that. Um, I'm sure it's definitely something that could be fixed. I don't know if that's an Infinity Photo specific thing or not. I will do some more research and get back to you guys on that one. Okay, so uh, we've applied the effect on the mask layer. So all we're gonna do is go up here and then we're just going to change the opacity um, to soften her skin. Uh, basically 50% is kind of where you wanna go. And now we can do a before and after comparison of what we just did here in, I mean, shoot, two minutes. I mean, I've been talking pretty heavily, so, but yeah, roughly about two minutes. So that's the after. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so you guys see that a little better. Before, after, before, after. The effects become the most notice noticeable when you, you're zoomed out, because you can see how much softer her skin just looks. Um, granted, I didn't apply the effect fully. As you can see, there's kind of some funkiness going on over here that just didn't really work. Um, and again, that's just a mistake on my end, but uh, nonetheless, that's kind of just what's possible with this particular tool. There are more nuances to using this that I will explain in a future video because there's just a lot more layers to using the Gaussian Blur. But this is just a really, 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 really basic and easy technique if you just want to get something uh, just kind of smoothed out really quick, you don't want to use a patch tool, you don't want to use a healing brush, you don't want to use a spot healing brush, uh, you don't want to use any of those tools and really like get in there and you just want a quick solution, this and, and another technique I'll show you guys in a future video are going to be the easiest ways to do that. Uh, granted, like I said, there's some kind of funkiness, which I will do a follow-up video to this one explaining how to troubleshoot and diagnose some of those the funkiness. Um, I just want to showcase to you guys what's possible in this video, though, uh, with just using the Gaussian Blur, um, just through a filter. So that's really what's possible, guys. It's it's super straightforward. It's not super complicated. Obviously, just making sure that you're not you're not applying blur to the eyes, because when you look out from there, it's game over. So do not do that, for the love of God. Don't apply it to the eyebrows. Do not apply it to the nose, like the actual um, the the nostrils themselves. Don't apply it to the lips. Do not apply it to the edges of the hair. Strictly on the skin alone. Uh, this is this feature and this um, this technique also works really well when it comes to over here um, and applying blur on these areas as well. Same exact strategy. Uh, it's probably even best on bodies than it is on faces. To be quite honest with you, this is a very easy way to kind of just get the skin in this area just looking that much better. Yeah, but um, you'd have to apply more opacity in those areas. But super, 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 super easy technique. But uh, as all my friends, that kind of wraps up today's video. No need to kind of ramble on and, and continue going. You guys have seen what's possible here, so we'll kind of leave it at that. But uh, you know, as always, leave a comment in the description and hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that subscribe button. And um, absolutely, while you're down there, actually hit the bell button as well so you can actually be notified when we post possible future videos, which we will. Um, and you'll be notified what they are and you'll get a notification sent right to your phone. That'd be awesome. Um, so you can stay up to date with the latest content that we're releasing. But um, outside of that, if you have any comments, questions, you want to see a certain video knocked out that we have the ability to showcase on our channel, by all means, reach out to us. Leave us a comment. Shoot us a message on social media. Um, and then outside of that, until the next video, guys, peace out, my friends.